for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to look for Windows Explorer. You might need to scroll down to find it, or you might need to open up Windows Explorer right here, and then it should come up over here. So once you find Windows Explorer, you want to click on it, and then click on Restart Task. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in Device Manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to open up Display Adapters, and then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on Update Driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has been installed, then we're going to go back and click on browse my computer for drivers. And then click on let me pick from a list. And then you want to install the second one that comes up, click on next and install it. For the third step, we're going to head over to search and type in run. And I click on enter. Then once you're on the run box, we're going to type in reg edit. And click on enter again. And then click on yes. Once you're on the registry editor, you can follow what I'm going to be doing up here. So first we're going to open up HK local machine. Then we're going to open up system. Then we're going to open up control set 001. Then we're going to open up services. Then we want to click on any service and click on N on our keyboard, which will bring us down. We're going to scroll down until we find NDU right here. So click on NDU. Once you're on NDU, you want to click on the start file right here. Double click on it and then change the value data to 4 and click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to go back into registry editor again. And now we're going to expand HK local machine again. Then we're going to expand system. Then we're going to expand current control set. Then we're going to expand control. Then you want to click on any file right here and then click on S on your keyboard, which will take us down to the S section. We're going to scroll down until we find session manager. We're going to expand this. Then we're going to scroll on even more and then click on memory management. Once on memory management, you want to open up clear page file at shutdown. So click on that, double click on it, and then change the value data to one and click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once you're on services, you want to click on any service and click on W on our keyboard. Then we're going to scroll down until we find Windows Management Service. You want to right click on it, click on properties, and then make the startup type disabled. And click on OK. For the last method, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to head over to the personalization tab, and then we're going to click on lock screen. Then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and click on screensaver. Make sure that the screensaver is set to none and then click on OK. Once you complete everything in this video, restart your computer, then the problem should be fixed.